All right, quick tutorial in Excel here. I've got a couple, a very simple Excel document with a couple tables, uh, markets and cities. So here's the problem is that these markets are lists of cities and I wanna get the total population dynamically for these lists. And on the cities, that's where for each city, there's one row per um, city and has the population there. So we need to take this comma separated list of values. It could be separated by any character, but in this case, it's a CSV. Um, kind of break it down into its components and get the sum ifs in order to get the total population for each of those cities in this market. And I'm going to copy this down just so we can do some scratch work down here. Because what you might think of doing is um, we know that we want the function to look something like this, where it's going to be some ifs, and the range is the population column of the cities table. And then the criteria range is the city. And then if we were to kind of hard code an array into this last criteria, it would look something like this, where we've got um, the cities in double quotes wrapped in curly braces, and that's one parameter that returns us uh, two cells, one for each city, and then we know we want to wrap that whole thing in a sum, so that's going to consolidate the two populations for those two cities, and there's our answer. So what you might think of doing is just re- uh, kind of organizing this string to look like that, uh, to look like this, where we've got the uh, curly braces and the quotes around it. And it might look something like uh, using the substitute function, taking that text, uh, we're going to take out the comma and we're instead going to add uh, a comma that's kind of flanked by these double quotes. And then at the beginning, we want to add an opening curly brace and two, or I guess three, double quotes. Um, so that'll be compiled as a, one double quote, or one set of double quotes. But it'll look something like that. So that looks like this parameter here. The problem is, if I were to try to use that in this sum ifs function, here's the population again, here's the city again. And let's just click on that cell here. Um, it's not going to work. And if we evaluate the formula, we'll see why. It's because that, that it's trying to literally look up the string that starts with uh, curly brace two double quotes Dallas. It's trying to find that exactly and not actually looking up the range. Or sorry, the array. So... There is no function in Excel that I could find that would say, like, literally take this string and interpret it literally as an array. Um, but what we can do is actually use a function called filter XML. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a little XML object, use filter XML in order to have um, Excel interpret it as an array, and that's how we can make this dynamic uh, uh, criteria for our sum ifs. So not everything was wasted in doing this substitute because what we're going to do is we're going to just build an XML object as a string and for our parent element we'll just call it P and then for our child element we're just going to call it C and you could kind of call these anything and then at the other end where we had the closing curly brace we want to close the C close the P, and then instead of substituting a, a comma with double quotes, if it does find a comma, we're just going to say close P, or sorry, close C, and then open another C. So let's see what that looks like. And that looks good to me. And what we can do is use that filter XML function. Uh, this X path is a little funky. We just have to do these uh, two slashes and then the C. So whatever the child element is called, that's going to go right there. Um, that's going to be a string. Close our function. And there we go. So there's our two cities. And we can take that whole thing and plop it into our sum ifs. 
There we go. And then again, we have to wrap that around or all in a sum. And there's our answer that matches. That's all fine and dandy. So let's take that whole function and put it up into our table using our column references. So instead of this B10, it's just going to be this market. And let's see what that looks like. So there we go. And let's just do some quick math to make sure everything's okay. We got Buffalo, Niagara, 27, or sorry, 278,000. Buffalo, Niagara, uh oh. What have we done? Buffalo. Oh. Oh. Niagara Falls. There. Two, uh, 326. 326. All right. Gave me a little bit of a heart attack there, but we are all good. And that is how you can take a comma separated or a kind of a character separated list and use it as a dynamic parameter in a sum ifs or a count ifs or whatever you, whatever you need in Excel using the filter XML function. Thanks.